Welcome to yoga. From your tabletop, close your eyes, feel your body and move any way that your body wants you to move. Stay here or make your way to downward facing dog and continue with any other movement that feels good for you. This is the only down dog of our practice today, so make it a good one. And walk your feet to the top of your mat for a ragdoll pose. Separate your feet about hip distance or even wider. Give a generous bend in your knees. Deeply fold at your hips. Let your head hang heavy and grab onto your elbows. Even interlace your forearms if that's more comfortable for you. We're gonna move into our first flow. And as we do so, remember that Today, we're practicing breath awareness. So place that as a higher priority than the physical postures. So from here, keep your arms as they are and slowly turn your body to the right and begin to rise in a half circle, coming all the way up to standing. Some call these sunflowers. And now slowly continue that circle bending to your left and come all the way down your left side coming back down into your ragdoll fold and let's do that again inhale as you go up your left side coming all the way up to the top and exhale as you come down your right side well done take your hands to your shins halfway lift find your long flat back so draw your shoulder blades together behind you, open up through your chest and collarbones. Inhale. Exhale to forward fold. Now keep your feet wide and rise up for a mountain pose, reaching your arms overhead as you come all the way up, but your shoulders stay relaxed. From here, open arm twist to the right. Reach your right arm back, left arm forward, and draw your gaze past your right fingertips. You're twisting through the crown of your head. Then inhale, come back to mountain pose. Exhale, twist to your left. Left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward. Chin turns all the way to the left. With these twists, you wanna keep your hips squared off to the top of your mat. Only your upper body is opening up. Inhale, come back to mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Bend your elbows open as you lift up through your sternum and gaze up to the ceiling. Inhale back to mountain, exhale forward fold, come all the way down. With a generous bend in your knees, grab onto your elbows. Inhale to sunflower up your right side. Exhale to sunflower down your left side. Reverse, inhale sunflower up your left side. Exhale sunflower down your right side. Release your hands for halfway lift, big breath in, broaden through your chest. Exhale to forward fold with a gentle bend in your knees, head hangs heavy. Mountain pose as you inhale, come all the way up. Open arm twist to the right as you exhale through your upper body only. Then slow inhale back to mountain pose. Exhale open to your left, stretching through your fingertips. Inhale, come back to mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Bend your elbows open, lift up through your heart as you inhale back to mountain. As you exhale, forward fold. Grab onto your elbows. Inhale, sunflower up the right side. Exhale, sunflower down the left side. Follow the pace of your breath. Reverse it as you inhale, sunflower up your left side. Exhale, sunflower down the right side. Releasing your arms at the bottom for halfway lift, big breath in. Exhale to fold. For mountain pose, inhale to rise. 
Exhale, open arm twist to your right. Smooth, slow and controlled, come back to your mountain. Open arm twist to your left. Inhale, back to mountain. Mini back bend as you exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. And this time, just bring your hands together at heart center. Stand tall. So open your eyes, sit back into your hips, and twist to the right. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee, then take a peek at your knees to make sure that you did not slide your left knee past your right. Bring your knees back together, then sit a little bit deeper, and take your gaze where you want your twist to go. Find three smooth, deep, breaths here. Then inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to your left. Hook your right elbow outside of your left knee. Keep your knees together. Sink low into your hips for three deep breaths. And a little trick for you is to just focus on the exhale because the inhale will take care of itself. Then inhale back to center, close your eyes, observe your breath. Whenever we flow one breath, one movement, remember to follow the pace of your breath. So it's okay if you're a half second ahead or behind, or even if you skip postures completely, as long as you find your flow. One breath, one movement. From here, with your hands together at heart center, place your left ankle on your right knee and sit back into your hips for a standing figure four. Keep your gaze set on one spot for balance and sit a little deeper so you can feel the sensation of your left glute opening up. Then slowly rise and keep your left knee lifting. Then extend your left leg back as you extend your arms back into an airplane, land on your back foot, lower your back knee down to the mat and find crescent moon. Reach your arms overhead. Sink into your hips, but do yourself a favor and engage your legs as if you were trying to scissor your thighs towards each other. In doing so, you might be able to lift up out of your hips and open up even more through your upper body and your left hip flexor. And let's add a mini back bend. Just bend your elbows open, lift up through your heart. Your breath is creating all the sensation and all of the calm within all of the intensity. From here, inhale, reach your arms back up. Then exhale, place your hands down on your mat, shift your hips back for Hanumanasana prep, your half splits pose. So with all of your weight on your back knee, your right leg straightens out. You can flex your toes back towards your face or point your toes, whatever feels good for you. Find a nice long spine. For three, two, one. Shift your weight forward, placing both hands down on your mat. Lift your back knee up off the mat for a deep lunge, and then reach your right arm up to the ceiling for a dragonfly twist. And if you want to take the strength element of this a little further, then lift up on your left fingertips or even fingers hovering on your mat. Breathe into this twist. Feel your breath making space in your chest, your shoulders, and your upper back. Inhale. Exhale to release your right hand down and walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Find yourself in a wide leg forward fold. So both legs are straight, toes are pointing to the side of your mat or even turned in slightly. 
and with your hands planted down, find halfway lift in this pose. So broad chest, long spine, inhale, exhale to Skandasana. Deeply bend your right knee as you sit your hips back into a nice low side lunge variation. Your left leg is going to straighten out completely. Your left toes will flex back towards your body. You can keep your hands down on your mat or bring your hands together at heart center. Breathe. Find your breath that is smooth, calm, and focused. And from here, using magic or strength or whatever you've got, rise up into warrior two facing the back of your mat. A nice smooth and powerful transition. With your legs deeply bent from your warrior two, find extended side angle. With your left forearm to your left thigh or inside of your left shin, reach your right arm overhead and really open up through your whole right side body. So if it feels good, Keep extending through your right fingertips all the way overhead. From here, find your deep inner core strength and rise up into reverse triangle. Straighten out both legs as you reach your left arm high. Big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down and step your back foot forward into a forward fold, now the back of your mat. So we're taking these rotations around our mat so we can find full flow, a circular movement similar to our circular breath. From here, find halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to mountain pose and lift your right knee this time. Exhale, standing figure four. Place your right ankle on your left knee and sit back. Bring your hands together at heart center for balance. Keep your gaze steady and focused. Breath calm and smooth. So from here, inhale to rise, reach your arms up, keep your right knee lifting up. As you exhale, airplane your arms and step your right foot back. Gracefully land on your toes at the back of your mat, then lower your back knee down, reach your arms overhead for crescent moon. And remember, as much as you want to sink into your hips in this posture, also keep an awareness on the muscles that help keep your body gripping into place. So draw your inner thighs together, scissor your legs together, lifting out of your hips so you can get an even deeper lengthening in your right hip flexor. So go ahead and add your mini back bend. Lift up through your heart as you do so. Bend your elbows open. Then on your next inhale, reach your arms overhead for your crescent moon. Exhale, hands come down to your mat, shift your hips back and straighten out your left leg. Be mindful that you're not rounding in your lower back. So walk your hands back as much as you need to. Prop up on fingertips if that feels good. Inhale to lengthen through your spine. Exhale to hinge at your hips. Inhales, lengthen. Exhales, deepen. For three, two, one. Walk your hands forward, placing both hands down on your mat. Lift your back knee up for your dragonfly. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Remember, you can add that element of strength by propping on your right fingertips or even right fingers hovering on your mat. Take a big inhale. Exhale to release. Walk your hands over to the right side for a wide leg fold with both legs straight and your hips over your heels. So try not to shoot your booty out behind you. Instead, walk your hands forward. Hips over heels will help you get deeper in your hamstrings. With your hands on your mat, find halfway lift, long spine, open heart, big inhale. Exhale, Skandasana. Deeply bend your left knee, sinking into your hips as your right leg straightens out, right toes flex back. Wherever you are, wherever your hands are, Stay tall and lifted through your chest, all the way through the crown of your head. 
Then from here, smooth and powerful, make your way to warrior two with a deep bend in your right knee, arms reaching front and back. From here, set up extended side angle with your right forearm inside of your right knee, reach your left arm overhead, even extend all the way through your left fingertips if you did on the other side. Use your breath and the posture to create space in this pose. From here, for reverse triangle, rise up, straighten out both legs, and reach your right arm overhead. Big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, take a forward fold at the top of your mat. And let's put that all together, one breath, one movement. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, lift your left knee. Exhale, figure four, left ankle to your right knee, sit back nice and deep. Inhale, back to your one-legged mountain pose, left knee lifting. Exhale to airplane your arms and step your left foot back with grace. Catch yourself, lowering your back knee down to the mat. Inhale as you reach your arms overhead for your crescent moon. As you exhale, bend your elbows open and lift up through your heart for your mini back bend. Inhaling back to your crescent moon, smooth and slow. Exhale to Hanumanasana prep, hands down to your mat. Shift your hips back, straightening out your right leg. As you inhale, walk your hands forward and reach your right arm high for your dragonfly. As you exhale, transition to your wide leg forward fold. Prop up on your hands for your halfway lift, long inhale. Exhale, Skandasana, deep bend in your right knee. Your whole left leg straightens out, sit up tall through your chest. Inhale to warrior two. Slow and strong as you exhale, extended side angle, lengthening through your right side body. Inhale to rise, reverse triangle, reach up through your left fingertips. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step your back foot forward into the forward fold for halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. This time, inhale to rise, mountain pose with your right knee lifting. As you exhale, figure four, hands to heart center, sit nice and deep. Inhale, back to your one leg mountain pose, right knee lifting. Slow exhale as you airplane your arms and step your right foot back. Inhale to crescent moon with your right knee down, reach your arms overhead, then as you exhale, bend your elbows open for your mini back bend. Inhale back to crescent moon. Then exhale, Hanumanasana prep, shift your hips back. Inhale to your dragonfly, walk your hands forward, reach your left arm high, then as you exhale, transition to your wide leg fold. For halfway lift as you breathe in. Then Skandasana, deeply bend your left knee as you breathe out. Inhale to warrior two, big bend in your right knee. Exhale to extended side angle, stretch through your left side body. Inhale, reverse triangle, both legs straight, right arm high. Then forward fold, this time halfway lift. Forward fold, then rise up mountain and bring your hands together at heart center. Close your eyes, feel your breath, feel your body. Breath control is just as important of a practice as your physical postures. It's also challenging in itself without the postures. So no matter what happened, let it go, let it be, and practice a breath that is long and smooth, mindful and present. Namaste.